Hello strangers, the date today is February 14th 2019, which means that today is Valentine's Day. Great. I make no secret of the fact I do not like Valentine's Day. There are three reasons for this. Reason number one, it makes all the singletons in the world feel like crap and undesirable. Reason number two, my ex-girlfriend broke up with me the day after Valentine's Day, so I always have bad memories around this time of the year. And reason number three, every year on Valentine's Day, my dad sends me this joke. Although I don't like Valentine's Day and I hate seeing couples who ring each other's lips in public, I do like seeing people happy. And history of Valentine's Day is kind of interesting. So, Saint Valentine is one of the most popular saints across the globe, after Saint Nicholas, who is the American name for Father Christmas, or Santa Claus. And yet no one knows Saint Valentine's story. So, Saint Valentine was a priest in Rome during the reign of Emperor Claudius II in the 3rd century. Emperor Claudius made a law that forbade men to get married, so that they would be forced to join the military and become better fighters. So when they, were, when they were away fighting in foreign lands, they wouldn't get homesick and they would have high morale. Now, obviously, this law wasn't very popular. What lots of single men did, they'd find their sweetheart or their lovers, take them to St. Valentine, and he would marry them in secret. Now, obviously, Emperor Claudius found out about this and he wasn't very really happy. He arrested St. Valentine. While imprisoned, St. Valentine started to have a romantic relationship with the jailer's daughter. And he started writing her love letters. On the day when he was led away for his execution, he wrote to a final letter that ended your Valentine, which is where we get the expression your Valentine today from. Um, after Emperor Claudius II's death, his law was quickly reversed and Saint Valentine was given his sainthood. Now that's the most common story, but it's very important to know that there is almost no facts to back that story up. Um, the Catholic Church, for example, recognise at least three different St. Valentines, all from different points in history, and other stories that have nothing to do with the Catholic Church at all. There's one version where Valentine was a god in the wolf form that raised up two boys called Romulus and Remus, who later went on to fight each other and found the city of Rome. So, Valentine was meant to be the god, or in wolf form, that reared them both up. Obviously, in that battle between Romulus and Remus, Romulus won and named the city Rome. Otherwise, the city would be called Reem, which is really weird. But also from that story, J.K. Rowling took the name Remus and the wolf connection to get Remus Lupin, who is obviously a werewolf in Harry Potter. I'm not going to talk about Valentine's Day ideas or gifts, because I'm the least qualified person to do that. Jay did a video with Valentine's Day advice. Um, go watch his last video before the one he releases tomorrow. Um, but I do want to talk about something that is kind of related to Valentine's Day. And now is a really good time to explain it, really. I identify as grey romantic and grey sexual, which comes under the umbrella of asexuality. That's how I define myself. Grey romantic and grey sexual. Now what that means is that I experience sexual attraction and romantic attraction very, very, very rarely in my life. I can count up for that number of times on one hand, I think. Um, I've only had one previous romantic relationship when I was in school, which I mentioned before. We broke up the day after Valentine's Day. I don't, that was about seven years ago, I think. I don't intend to have another relationship at this current time. I'm not scared, I'm not scarred or hurt or traumatised. It's just not on my priority list, really. I just can't be bothered. I have no desire or want to have sex or a romantic relationship. I'm perfectly happy as I am, just writing and playing on the PlayStation, really. Um, asexuality is very complex, but it is also very personal to me. So I'm going to put two links in the description down below. The first one is for my friend Marshall, who is in America. He is very outspoken in the asexual community. And the second link is for my friend Sam, who is also an asexual vlogger. She lives in the UK. Um, links for that is in the doobly-doo down below. Please check out their videos so they can explain asexuality 
a lot easier than I can. And they also have really good content, so please subscribe to their channels. And subscribe to our channel as well if you haven't already. And also hit the bell icon. So yeah, it's Valentine's Day. My plan is to go and watch the finale of Hunted on Channel 4. And then watch some really crap TV. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, strangers and non-strangers. If and if you haven't enjoyed today, I will see you next week when I'm talking about London VidCon. Take care and have a good one.